Exactly 50 days since the Charlotte Independence's 2017 season came to a close, Independence head coach Mike Jeffries and his staff are back to work evaluating players for the upcoming season. For a third consecutive year, the MLS's Colorado Rapids are collaborating with their newly renewed USL affiliates for a three-day player invitational combine. For us, obviously, the draft's coming up and it gives us a little bit of a chance too to have a look at there's obviously some plays in here that will be available in the draft to us and it gives us a chance to have a look at those guys as well. So I think it's attractive to players to be seen by an MLS club and, and know that you know they've gotten an opportunity to, to showcase themselves in front of uh, Colorado. And with Colorado being in the MLS and us being able to be that affiliate and that go-between, I think it's a, a great opportunity for any player to want to come and be here. I think this is very important for, for Charlotte Independence. Um, I think it's, a, obviously, as you see, there's, there's a lot of players in here. Um, it's, it's a big process for them to see if they can grab you know, a handful of players that can come in and influence that squad. So a lot of them are, are college seniors um, you know, that we've seen uh, and, and felt like would potentially be at the level and, and wanted to see them in, uh, in our environment in front of us. I think there is a little bit of recruiting that goes along and I think a lot of it has to do you know, with the style of play, with the area that they're living in, are they comfortable in Charlotte, that kind of thing. Uh, so I think we've, we always feel pretty good about the package we're able to put together in terms of you know, how life is going to be on the field and how life will be off the field. You know, rather than just kind of having to pick up one or two spots, uh, as maybe we did last year, one or two more or less starting spots as we did last year, we have we have a few more things to do. We, you know, we don't feel because we only have four guys that oh my gosh, we have to sign you know more guys from here. Uh, no, either you can, either we feel you can do it at the level, or, or there's no point in, in bringing them in. But it does necessitate us looking in different directions, and whether it's here or whether it's you know from uh, the USL. Uh, or from outside the USL, um, you know, continue to do the work to try and bring the best group we can back. There's, some, you know, some holes to fill, but it, you know, we're excited about the prospect of some of the guys that not only we saw here, but guys that we've had interest in um, prior to the combine. You know, depending on what we see over the over these three days, is, it depends on the decision or makes a decision as to whether we offer a contract straight away, whether we say, hey, look, can we just bring you into preseason and see what you're about. Uh, so it, it does depend on that, and, and then we, we keep in contact with them over the next couple of months uh, before our season does start. Last week, the Charlotte Independence exercised contract options for Enzo Martinez, Alex Martinez, Callum Ross, and Joel Johnson, shaping up the first parts of the 2018 roster. With training camp and open tryouts scheduled in early February, this combine marks the last little bit of soccer action until the dawn of a new season. For now, at the Sportsplex at Matthews, I'm James Thomas for CharlotteIndependence.com.